Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We've been doing short videos this morning, Brad. This is not a short video. This is going to be a long video. So be prepared. You get a cup of coffee and relax. Yeah. Best pain relief positions for neck, back, shoulder, and hip pain. We thought we'd cover them all. Good. Excellent. So if you are new to our channel, please take a second mm -hmm. to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we yeah. upload every day. Also, if you get a chance, go over to Facebook and like us, Bob and Brad because we like you and you, we want you to like us. Moving on, Brad, let's get that started. That was smooth. Yep, I thought so. <laughs> let's start off with the neck, Brad. So when you're uh, trying to position yourself correct for neck pain, uh, what you want to do when you're laying flat on your back is you do not want to have too many pillows. That's sure. the big mistake a lot of people make. They put too many pillows under here and they're like this all night long. All right, let's say so we're gonna you know, if you're watching TV a guy on the wall or something like that, those things can really... That's going to make it worse, too. So we got a hint for that, too, Brad, if, okay. you're gonna, if the TV is right in front of you. The other thing is, um, with the TV, you want to make sure it is in front of you and not off to the side like this. Because mm -hmm. if you're off to the side like this and bent forward here, now you're in double trouble. So when do you want to use two pillows? Is if you are on your side. There you go. Now, there's got this gap in the neck. So we got this big gap, and that takes two pillows to fill that in. Right. Because you, you want to keep your head right in the center. So the gap he's talking about is the shoulder is in, the, you know, we got to fill this gap up. I, I just wanted to clarify that, Bob. Not the gap in my head? Right. Okay. We've got a gap there, too, but that's another story. All right. So you're on your back. You got the one pillow. On your side, you got the two pillows. Um, if you're going to watch TV, I would recommend you get one of these wedges. Yeah. What are these called, Brad? This oh. is a, a sleep wedge. A sleep wedge. Now what, look at this once. I can have good posture with my neck and I can even put you know, one thin pillow underneath here. A thin one. Yep, and I can watch the TV straight in front of me. Again, it should be in front of you, not off to the side. Um, I, it'd be okay, I guess, if you were like this. Off to sure, the side And the right. TV was over there, so. You know, these are commonly used also for people who have uh, long. Like reflux problems. And, right, yeah, yeah so that. But, you know, it works good for this as well. I mean, get two birds with one stone. Yep. All right, let's move on. Actually, um, well, the other thing with the neck, you don't want to sleep on your stomach if possible. Right. Uh, when you sleep on your stomach, especially for a long period of time, what you're, you're going to have your head all mm -hmm. the way in one mm -hmm. direction or in the other direction. And, and joints don't like that. The joints of your neck don't like to be all the way uh, in, into the, uh, you know. They call it end range. And end range is okay for a little while, but for prolonged periods, it can cause problems, particularly if you're on, your, on a pillow. Why don't we show some of the products you can get. There, well, there's the, the neck, uh, what would you call this, neck cervical pillow? Sleep roll. Sleep roll? Yeah, I believe that's what Mackenzie calls it. It's right on there. I thought that's the one that goes around your body, is it? Uh, well, you know, Bob. Cervical roll. Cervical roll. So, Sorry, you're right. So what you can do is you can put it in there, and you can take a roll of towel and do the same thing. Sure. I, mean, um, I think I have, we have one right here, too, Bob. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you can give that a try first. Don't, you don't need to buy one of these. Um, you can try that first. You can put it outside the pillow. A lot of times, if that works, you put it inside, and then it stays there. And it, yeah, it, so what it's going to do with this or that mm -hmm. will actually, you know, if you lay on your side, again, you'd have two pillows. Yeah. But it fills in that gap and just gives your neck a little more support. If you're on your back, you have the one thin pillow, and again, it just gives you a little support. And you can mess around with the size of it sure. and, and determine you know, which one you think helps you the most. So. If it feels like it's a bump and it's put in pressure, then you don't want it. It should feel like a very comfortable support that it's like, oh boy, that really helps. Now it's, these are softer and that's why they might feel better than the towel. That towel actually feels pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, so you, you gotta, be careful how tight, how tightly you roll the towel. But right. in general, if this works, this will probably feel better. Uh, that's what it's made for. All right. Anything else on the neck that you want to talk about, Brad, or should we go to the shoulder? No, we can go to the shoulder. All right. Let's go to the shoulder. All right. With the shoulder, um, you actually you can actually, this is the little hint that we use quite often. You can have two pillows, and then you can have a third pillow here. Uh, we're going to have to probably use that. Yeah. Well, here, we'll, we'll put this. By the way, that is a cervical pillow, by the way, too. We didn't mention that. Some of them come you know, with these basic uh, designs where it fills into the gap like this. Right, then you don't have to put in the, right. the other uh, cervical roll. The problem with these is it's very particular to each person. I mean, I mean, my daughter got one of these and just loves it, 
but it took her a couple of tries. She, the first one she got, which is this one, yeah. she didn't like, and the second one she got, she thought was perfect. So, I don't, there's no way around that. You, you know, you have to experiment. If you find someone that has one, and you can try it, you know that that's the best way. Right. And right. then you don't have to spend the money. But so yeah, uh, let's say we got two pillows here because you're on your side. You, um, what you want to do is create a little canal for your shoulder. And this is if you sleep on your shoulder and you wake up and your shoulder is very painful or a shoulder injury and you're a side sleeper, uh, this allows you to sleep on your side without irritating that shoulder. Right, so what happens is this takes some of the pressure off the point of the shoulder. So now I'm taking the pressure here and here instead of here. Right. So it really works out quite well if you feel like you have to sleep on that painful shoulder. We're going to recommend you don't. We're going to recommend you stay off that painful right. shoulder if possible. The other thing you can do, just a little adjustment, is if you can lay back a little bit like this. Let's say you want to stay on your side, but you don't. Um, you know, if you can stay completely off the point, you can just roll like three quarter over. It's going to be a lot better, and a lot of times you can take another pillow and put it behind you. So right. you're going to make sure to, you have plenty of pillows. You're going to have to invest in pillows here, yeah. <laughs> or take them from some of the other family members. So now let's say this is the painful shoulder. All right, what you might try for that instead, you really want to keep it supported when you're laying on your side. So you can take one pillow and put it here, and you take another pillow, and you put it right like this. There you go. And it keeps it up in that kind of neutral, loose packed position, and it feels really good. Yeah, this so, really makes a, it's amazing what a difference that makes, uh, you know, just that getting that yeah, elbow supported. Yeah, some people just do the one pillow and their arm goes like this, and that is not comfortable. Some people, you know, even if you double this one up even, it really brings it up like this, and they like that. Sure. So yeah. it, it just experiment. You'll know because it's just going to feel much better. All right. How about we go to the back? Why don't you talk about the back a little bit, Brad, because you had an episode last night. Yeah, and this is something I deal with uh, if I do too much. I've got a condition called spondylolisthesis. Uh, there's about uh, there's a number of people that, that have this, and you can deal with it without and still live a normal life, but... Um, I was doing a little more than I should have yesterday, whatever. Um, so I woke up about 4 in the morning, and my back was a little sore, and I'm rolling side to side, and I couldn't get comfortable. So I have one of these in my house. It's uh, the leg wedge. This angle here is really, uh, I don't know what it is about, it, but it really, it, makes my isn't yeah, it, it really makes your low back feel comfortable when you lay like this. So you got up in the middle of the night. I got up actually towards the end. It was like four in the morning. I got up. I got my cold pack out of the freezer. I put my cold pack right there on the leg, and I got up my leg wedge like this. I laid down. I was very happy, and I relaxed. And I woke up an hour later, and I was feeling so good. I got out of bed, and back pain was 90% gone. I have found some people that you've had a lot of people that sleep in recliners, don't you? I have yeah, with back yeah. pain. And I have had them try this, and some of them can get out of the recliner, some of them can't. I, I using the leg wedge on the, the recliner? Leg wedge. No, oh. using the leg wedge in their bed. Oh, as they opposed were able, to... They were able to go back to the bed. I see what you're so, saying. As opposed to the recliner, yep. So the other thing is, you know, when you're on your back and you're sleeping on your back, um, your, your back is sagging down a little bit, and you're getting it a little bit in that rounded out position. Sure. So for some people, it feels a lot better to maintain the arch and keep your new spine in neutral. So what we recommend with that is you might take a, a rolled towel or sheet and tie it around you or pin it around you yep. like this. And now when I'm on my back, we got the gap here that's being filled in. But let's say I roll onto my side. Now it's filling that gap too, especially on women whose hips might be a little wider and that gap right. really is pronounced and your back is sagging down when you're on your side. Sure. So this is something to try and, and they also sell, uh, now this one's called the night roll. I, I just read it. So oh, you not, did, yeah. so we're clear on which. Yeah. <laughs> this is by Mackenzie too. So this is another one you can just tie around you and, and tie in place and, and again, a little softer right. and, and it helps keep you, especially I think for people with sciatica quite often, mm -hmm. this might make sure. a difference. Yeah, so, I would definitely try the towel roll first right, and, and see if that makes a positive uh, difference. And then you could purchase that if you want to have something more comfortable in long term. If you don't you know, use one of the, the uh, leg wedges, you could try pillows underneath your legs too to see if... Right. And also a pillow between the knees often puts a little bit less 
twist on the back. Um, Do you want to show that? Sure. And then on to that other trick. Yeah, the other the trick. Yep. Yeah, this I is agree. A nice, these are some nice ones for people with hip or sciatica. So, yeah, you can do between the legs because that, again, helps prevent the back from twisting here. Yep. But this is the one that you probably haven't seen yet. Um, if you're having pain down this leg with sciatica, you're going to take a pillow and you're going to put it underneath your heels like this, just like this. I've got two there. You can yeah. do one or two, whichever. You can start with one, but I, a lot of times it ends up being two. That's going to help. And, and sometimes that'll shut that pain off. Sure. Uh, interestingly enough, if you, if you understand what's going on with your back, you understand why it works. But, but yeah. we don't need to explain that. Right. So. It's just something you're going to give it a try. If it feels better, you'll know it. And then you leave it there. Another something I failed to mention, by the way, Brad, uh, is that at the end of this video, if you stick around till the end, which is unlikely that you will, uh, <laughs> we are going to mention the mattress that we like. Uh, there's one mattress that we recommend, and we've, we've really become fond of it. Right. So we'll mention it at the end of the mattress. All right. Uh, what if, if you're having hip pain? Uh, if you're having hip pain, especially if it's the upper hip here, you're, you're again, you're going to want to do that pillow between the legs. Sure. Uh, just like we showed. Yep. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is uh, avoid sleeping on that hip. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to, you know, put the pressure on that hip if you can. Right. It, uh, it takes the circulation and limits that, so we don't want to do that either. If it is bothering you and you feel like I have to, so let's say my hip is bothering me on this side. Right. And I'm like, I have to sleep on this side. I, I just can't fall asleep otherwise. Try to roll, again, go three-quarter back like this. Sure. So you're off the point of the hip. You're, you're in the meatier part of the, like the buttock and such. Yeah, maybe you so. could put a pillow there to get yep, your Yep, that would even turn. do it too, yeah. As you can see, pillows are very useful. So as you can see, like Brad was saying, uh, pillows are very useful. Right. If there's a sale. Yep, go, you, wanna... you know, if you got a two for one sale, go buy some pillows. If you're over to your relative's house, take a couple with you. See, you know, they probably won't notice it. The other thing that would help is that leg wedge, Brad. Oh, that sure. Would, that would help hip because it puts the hips, again, in a loose packed position, yep. and it's just gonna feel a lot better. Right. So, all right, did we cover everything, Brad? I think we, we got a good basic knowledge of it. What we're gonna do now is we're uh, just gonna cut away for a second, and then we're gonna show you our mattress. Okay. All right, as promised, this is the mattress that Brad and I uh, have grown to love. Um, <laughs> this is the sleep ovation. Uh, what we like about it uh, is basically that's like 700 individual mattresses. It's got these little sections here. Uh, the reason we like that is Brad and I, for a number of years now, have used a cushion in wheelchairs for patients who have pressure sores and their, their, their skin breaks down. And the, that cushion is made very similar to these uh, individual squares here. Right, the, it's called the Rojo cushion. And right. if you're a therapist, you know about it. They've been around for years and they are known, uh, you know, the, the deluxe Cadillac cushion for a wheelchair for comfort and for skin breakdown. But the concept is almost, I would say it is identical uh, to this. And then they have the individual springs underneath, uh, which also add to that same type of uh, comfort. Yeah, so no matter if you're a back sleeper, side sleeper, I mean, to me, this is gonna be one of the most comfortable mattresses you've ever been on. Right. And the other thing I like about it is the guy, the team that invented this are like the team in mattress world. I mean, they're, they're like the superstars, like the A-team. They've been around and for a while. They've been around for a while, and basically what they were saying is, if you, uh, if you currently use a mattress, they've either invented something on it, or they've invented the technology to build it. So, I mean, these guys know what they're doing. Right, so, so the manufacturing process is important, and that's all part of this mattress. Now, if you are interested in getting one of these mattresses, we got a link down below. You will get a discount if you go through our link. Mm -hmm. uh, we do get a small fee too. Uh, helps keep the lights on, right, Brad? Sure. Um, get, keeps you know getting cookies for you and M and M peanuts for me. There you go. So, and we we like our treats. But anyway, we never do a deal like this unless you get a better deal. And so um, you get a, a number of dollars off. And plus, if you use a code, you get another fifty dollars off. Just read the, the instructions down below. So sure. All right. Thanks there for watching. It is.